Gen AI will arrive for public organizations as well, and the public sector is really excited by that prospect. We actually already have AI projects. Since the past five years, we have worked on the strategy at ministerial, departmental, state, and international organization level. And today we see a market that is booming with all the ecosystem of players that it brings, with all the technology maturity that it brings. And at the other side, we also see a safe framework, a safe environment that is brought to us by regulations, by directives, and by a playground, which is uh, best illustrated by the AI Act of the European Commission, for example. Today, public organizations face an inefficiency challenge with processes, heavy, trivial tasks that force the workforce to deal with rising complexity in quantitative and qualitative terms. Second, um, an intelligence challenge. There is data. We sit on it practically, but we underutilize it. And here we will see that the technology can bring new potentials to light. And last, there is a, an experience challenge. Um, public services deal with very different categories of citizens. The job seeker, the taxpayer, um, the patient, the person that looks for public safety services. We need a tailor-made experience along processes and information for those different workflows. We see a wide range of use cases for public sector and mainly two. First in research, synthetic data generation that can help um, the public organizations to better research, to create a critical mass of data by keeping the real attributes of data in order to create data that we can test things about, like especially where the GDPR compliance is of importance. Second, queries, documents, texts are all processes that are really ended within the workflows of public sector. To have a virtual assistant, to have a text summarizer, to have a text writer being Gen AI powered, this is a use case that we see for welfare agencies, for security agencies, for tax and customs agencies. That is the reality of tomorrow for public sector. For public sector organizations, the next step are threefold. First, we will have to look at the advisory to implementation roadmap. We need to be sure that the application of Gen AI will actually be of value. So we have to assess the readiness and to assess the use case in order then to best implement. Second, to take an ecosystem approach to be aware of the societal, of the political, of the jurisdictional dimension of Gen AI. Gen AI comes with this mandate and the AI Act is a very good illustration of this. Last but not least, we will have to always think of the value for the citizen on how to apply the guidelines behind Gen AI applications. Transparency, explainability, data compliance, all those guidelines need to be translated and operationalized into reality. And second, on the human centricity, to always think how the use case will serve the whole chain of the organization, from the organization itself to the citizen and user and the public servant. <laughs>